the Vernier Go Direct uh, photo gates are an impressive piece of technology. They work uh, by having two lasers, and as you cross one and then cross the other, they know the distance between those two lasers, and so they can give you a uh, velocity reading. So as you go past one and you go past the other, uh, like all the Go Direct stuff, it's got an ID number, uh, and that's the one you need to connect. So if you go open Vernier Graphical Analysis, so it's got an ID number 79, and so we look up there Z9, and we connect. So Vernier Photogate is what that stands for. Um, and then you can have another one, so you have to push the power button on the top. Um, so pupils will only probably use two, so I'm looking for eight, uh, seven, um, connect to them. And so you can see on that screen that I do actually have uh, three photo gates uh, connected and I can just say objects velocity which is good and I can click done. So then I can place them a certain distance so I've connected to the first three of these and you can see that there's a velocity number at the bottom. I think it's easier if you come up to the top and then click uh, meter and then it gives you those three meters and you can click collect and then because it hasn't gone through it, um, it hasn't given you that velocity. If we shoot the car through, um, it gives you the speed, so 0.98 for the first photo gate, 1.1 for the second, and 1.0 for the third. And so that was telling you that it was accelerating in the first 20 centimeters and beginning to deaccelerate in the next. And so we can do that, and I'll just pull it back a little bit further. And with these, it's quite cool. You don't actually have to push collect again. Just gives you kind of different numbers. So 0 0.7 was accelerating over the first 20 centimeters, and then significantly deaccelerating over the next. Um, and so you can use all sorts of equipment. So um, you could throw a pen through, for instance. Maybe you can't. Um, I hit clicked again. Now I've got a ramp and a marble. And if I roll the marble uh, down the ramp, and so. Uh, we see that the order they appear was the order that they went through and that the speeds are basically the same so a little bit faster and slowing down which is what you'd expect and then you could um, move the photo gates further apart so if they were half a meter apart this time uh, and I roll them down the ramp uh, I'll push collect again and try again rolling down the ramp and so it must have, yeah, didn't go through that last photo gate. So I can push it through, stop, collect, and do it again. Yeah, it didn't make it through. But we're getting the idea that we can talk about net force and balance force and all that kind of stuff.